to the next topic, which is again very important on Google, which is known as search engine optimization. Now, if you don't remember what search engine optimization is, when you go to Google and you type something on Google, what shows below the ads out here, these are known as organic results, also known as search engine optimized websites. So websites which rank on the first page of Google without paying Google. Now it's very hard to get your website to come onto Google's first page without paying them. I'm gonna tell you a three step formula on how you can ensure your website ranks on the first page of Google organically, free of cost. But before we deep dive into this three step formula, I wanna give you a very quick stat about Google. From Google itself, I found out this statistic where Google says that 50% of the people that search something on Google, click on the first link in organic results. Which basically means that if your website is not the first organic result on Google, no one's ever coming to your website. You know, I came across this really funny meme on Instagram which says, where should you hide a dead body? You know where? On the second page of Google because nobody even goes there. All I'm trying to tell you out here is that ensure if you make a website, it needs to rank on the first page of Google or your website is kind of absolutely useless. It's like if you ever opened a store, would you open a store in the outskirts of a city or would you open a store in the prime location? I'm pretty sure you'd open a store at the absolute prime location, right? Because you want more visibility, you want people walking to see your store and then probably enter your store. Very similarly, if you make a website which doesn't rank on the first page of Google, your website is like opening a store at the outskirts of the city, absolutely useless. So ensure, when you make a website, your first thing to do is SEO everything about your website. And if you're a beginner, the next three steps I tell you on how to do SEO should be your starting kit for SEO. So let's begin on how to do SEO. Now, when you actually start doing SEO, the first and the most important step which is step one of the three-step formula, is please go to Google and find out what do people search on Google. Literally, just go to Google and type something and then pause while typing and press space. Immediately, you will see on Google an entire list of what people type on Google. Now, in this example, which I am taking out here, I've gone to Google and I've typed running shoes. And immediately once I type running shoes, Google is showing me running shoes for men, running shoes for women, running shoes low price, running shoes for men under 500, running shoes Nike, right? All of these, if you see, are actually keywords. First, find out what do people search on Google. Once you know what people search on Google, you can rebuild your website to match what people search on Google. If you haven't understood what I just said, wait, I'm gonna explain in my step two and my step three. So step one, go to Google, type something on Google and look at the entire list of options Google is giving you and note those down. Once you've noted these down, there could be many options that you've noted down. So what we really need to do is we need to reduce the number of options we have. Like here we have already five options, running shoes for men, women, low price, men under 500 and Nike. I wanna actually reduce these options. So for doing that, there are many tools available on the internet. I'm gonna give you two of my favorite tools. One of my favorite tools is a tool by a SEO guru called Neil Patel. It's called Uber Suggest. What Uber Suggest does is, it's a free tool by the way. What it does is it tells you exactly how many people are searching for a particular keyword per month on Google. It will quantifiably tell you exactly how many people search for something that you type on Google per month. Another paid tool which is connected to Google is, it's only for probably $10 a year, is a tool called Keywords Everywhere. It will again tell you how many people are searching on Google per month. Have a look at this example. I've actually gone to my Google and I've typed running shoes. And here you can see that 6,73,000 people per month go to Google and type running shoes. And if you look at some other related keywords, I can also see that Nike running shoes has a search volume of 3,68,000 people. Running shoes under 500 has 880 people searching for it. Running shoes low price has 2,900 people searching for it. So step one of a three-step formula. Go to Google, find out what people are searching. You'll have many options. 
to narrow those options, use a tool, a free tool called Uber Suggest and quantify and write down how many people are searching for what keywords and make an entire list of that. Now, once you have an entire list of keywords and search volumes against them, which are relevant to your business, you actually get to step two. Now, according to me, step two is the most, most, most important step in SEO. Why? Because in this step, you will actually filter your keywords to find a keyword which has the maximum buying intention. If you still haven't understood this, I'm going to give you an example right now. This chart has an X axis and a Y axis. Okay, so you can see on the left hand side of this chart, there is something known as search volume and search volume high and search volume low. Whatever is high means many people are searching for it. Whatever is low is fewer number of people are searching for it. And on the this axis, you can see something known as conversion rate. Now, conversion rate basically means is the customer going to buy or not buy? Now, you will realize that whenever it's low means that the customer is most likely not going to buy. But whenever it's high, it's like most likely the customer is going to buy. Now, have a look at these keywords. I'm going to show you the first keyword out here. Now, the first keyword is shoes. Now, what I can tell you about shoes is that many people go to Google and type shoes. The search volume is extremely high. But do people ever actually purchase a pair of shoes after going to Google and typing shoes? Absolutely not. Right? Let me give you option two. Running shoes. Now, with running shoes, again, quite a few people search on Google running shoes, but do they actually end up buying a pair of shoes after typing running shoes on Google? Most likely not. Most people, when they type such small keywords on Google, shoes or running shoes, I genuinely think they're probably window shopping, searching for their friend, probably doing a project, just looking at images, but they're most likely not going to purchase. But if you'll have a look at this third keyword, which is red men's running shoes, now, very few people search for this keyword, but most people who actually search for this keyword end up buying a pair of shoe. So my question to you is, would you like your website to rank for the keyword shoes, which most people search, but nobody ever buys? Or would you like your website to rank for a long keyword, which has a very high buying intention? So when someone goes to Google and types red men's running shoes, they're most likely going to buy in the next 14 days. So you need to find out out of your entire list of keywords from step one, add step two to it. Filter your keywords by finding out which keyword has the maximum buying intention and still has a decent amount of search volume, which means there's still a decent amount of people searching for it, but there's a very high chance with this keyword, they're going to buy this product in the next seven to 14 days. Step three is about taking this keyword and putting it on your website, okay? You need your website to talk about this keyword. Only and only then will Google understand that your website stands for this particular keyword. Now, let me really quickly show you a normal layout of a website. This is how a normal website looks like. Every website has a page title, a meta description. Every website has a URL, a heading, some content on that web page and some other content further. Now, your main job is to ensure that the best keyword that you have selected is now on the title of your page, in the URL of your page, within the content of your web page. Because only if you put your keyword at these locations, will Google realize that this person's website stands for these keywords. You know, let me give you an example. Have a look at this web page. And I'm gonna leave you at this website for 30 seconds on the clock. What I want you to do is I want you to read the URL, the title and the content on this web page for the next 30 seconds. And try making mental notes of what you understand while you read this.
Okay, time's up. If you still haven't managed to understand anything from this example, don't worry at all, I've got you covered, okay? Let's go back to this example. And if you look at the URL right here, you will realize that the URL has a keyword called best sport shoes men under 500. So that's most likely his keyword, okay? If you look at the title, it again says 10 best sport shoes under rupees 500, right? So now if you realize he's repeated it in the URL, he's also repeated it in the title. Now let's read a little bit about the content in this. The first line again starts with the same keyword, sport shoes under 500. If you read further, it again says best shoes under 500. If you read further, it again says 10 best sport shoes you can buy under rupees 500. And if you read again further, it still says, I have made a list of the top 10 best sport shoes for men under rupees 500. Did you realize what just happened? This person who owns this website has identified the keyword, understands that the keyword sport shoes under men for 500 has a very high buying intention, has taken this keyword and has stuffed it on his website in the URL, title and at different parts of the content in the website. Now, this allows Google to recognize that this website stands for these keywords. So the next time somebody goes to Google and actually types best sport shoes for men under 500, very high chance that this guy's website will show up first. Now, I hope you understood SEO because this was a very simple three-step formula basics that you need to implement for your website when you just get started. Now, if you remember, I told you half our audience is either on Google, which I just explained to you, and the remaining half of our audience is on social media websites. So it's very important to also reach out to your customer on social media and get them to click on your information from there and get them to your website from there. Third topic in this masterclass, which is social media marketing.